So let's take this right down. for a perfect 800 yard shot, 750. Probably gonna be right up here on this hillside. Let's see if I can get up there through these rocks. This looks like about 750 yards. I think we'll go ahead and string up some steel. Hey, I'm Mike Davidson. On this week's episode of Long Range Pursuit, we're actually down here on a shooting school in Texas. And uh, we're just, we're here a day early. We're just getting our steel out, getting it set up, waiting for the guys to show up tomorrow. We've got a, we've got some other guys up here at 500 yards setting up some targets. I'm actually trying to beat them down here at 750, get mine out a little quicker. And then we'll probably put some out at right around 950 to 1,000. We used to set some up at two or 300 yards. Nobody would even shoot at them. So we just start at five, we'll work our way out. Maybe even get a bonus target out there about 1200 or something. Now we're out here at 750 yards, but we're using a pretty big piece of steel. We've got a piece of steel, a target size that's two feet by two feet, and that's pretty big. So you can hit a lot smaller at 750 yards. Well, we do that for a reason. Uh, you know, we want a target that's wide enough that the guys can get on and they can, they can use that to, to figure out their wind, to dope their wind. Also, it's vertical enough to where that spotter, if the shooter's making mistakes, he can catch those. If you're not adjusting your parallax just right, if you're not, if your grip or your rear bag or your cheek pressure isn't the same every time, that spotter's going to be able to pick up on that when your group start getting vertical. So there's plenty of target to hit and we do it for a reason. You know, these schools are always pretty fun. Uh, this one in Texas, we're actually, we're going to have a lot more fun. We've got classroom in the morning and then we've got our field shooting in the afternoon. And then on this class, we're going to make sure it's wrapped up every day about 3 o'clock because we've got this huge ranch full of live targets, exotic animals. On a trophy fee basis, we're actually going to take what we learn at the class in the field. We're going to apply it on a hunt. It's going to be fun. Hey, we've got all the steel out, we're, we're finishing up painting, but just a real quick tip on picking the right steel for your range. Now we're using those VLD style bullets, they're real sharp and they like to penetrate. So it's important to get some hard steel, something that's going to be impenetrable to those bullets. Now at 500 yards, you're going to want something that's around 5 eighths of an inch, and we're talking AR500 or 550 steel. At 750, where we're at right now, you're going to get by uh, just fine with a piece of 3 eighths inch plate. At a thousand yards, or, or some super far targets, where you want a big enough piece of steel uh, to hit and to call your shots on, it's going to be hard to uh, hard to heft around a piece of three inch inch steel. So you can probably get by with some quarter inch plate if it's AR500 or a thousand yards. Just a real quick tip on that: uh, pick the right steel for the right bullet, and you'll have a good range. This Texas school is, is a pretty good location. We've been doing this for quite a few years. The classroom is done in the lodge, so it's very comfortable. We'll eat some breakfast, and then we'll get started right away. Usually we split up our schools into a half-day classroom and then a half-day shooting. So that's two full days of classroom instruction, and we'll take that instruction from basic ballistics, just talking about MOA or how to use a ballistics program, and we'll go all the way through you know, doping wind downrange, determining what the wind's doing at the target, uh, concepts like Coriolis and spin drift will cover those topics and then we'll give you some primers for bench shooting and then we'll go to the field and we'll use those techniques to be really consistent on the bench and then we'll do the same thing for field shooting. We'll try to take those same techniques and apply them to field shooting positions. Now this Texas course is unique because 
it gives us a chance to to go to the field and apply these techniques on real animals in a real hunting situation and it's not like shooting steel where you know a miss you just make an adjustment and shoot again I mean here a miss is a lost opportunity same thing and then we'll move down to the next one after that and what, what we're going to try to do is just be on the steel get comfortable with the with the elevation adjustment up and down maybe you go to 750 maybe you go to 1000 come back to 500 because you're already a minute high, we're thinking you're grouping about a minute high, so if you just shoot another two inches high, you're over the target. So we're kind of getting a feel you're about a minute high on your zero. I'm gonna go ahead and make an adjustment down, four clicks. On the minutes, that'd be one, two, three, four clicks. That's gonna bring you down one full minute. Let's, let's print a couple more on that steel and see if that works out. Make sure you push forward on that. Yeah, gotta be 100%. Bullseye. Hell! About, about two minutes. <laughs> Look at that camera. Bullseye. Give him a thumbs up. All right. Bullseye. You know, first uh, first of all, you know, you're a little, pardon the expression, gun shy when you sit down there because it's something that I, you know, you hadn't done and it was like a, a dream coming true when you get your you get your turn. And, uh, you know, whenever I look through a look through the scope and I'm and I'm seeing 500 yards which is further than I've ever shot before accurately um, is it was just remarkable that you, you know you'd hit the target that I would hit the target is you know and then and then, then it became relatively easy to hit that target we've run down to paint this steel because we've shot all the paint off that's how accurate the guns are. First time, first day of the school, and these guys have shot all of the paint off of these targets. Okay, maybe not all of it. Maybe not all of it, but close. We spray over our, our splashes with, with white first because you can see this, this gray ghost image in the, in the orange. White makes a lot brighter orange. Covers up, covers up the splashes a lot better. And we just come to our last target that we're gonna paint. This is again at 500 yards in a 10 plus mile an hour wind. This is an exceptional group. He needs to make about a minute of adjustment down, or three quarters of a minute, but I mean, you're, you're looking at a two and a half inch group at 500 yards in a 10 plus mile an hour wind. That's exceptional. At 500 yards, this guy shot about a two and a quarter, two and a half inch group, three shot group. He made an adjustment down of about one minute. Moved out to 700 yards. You know, the, here again, we're shooting in a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind. This right here is about a two and three quarter, three inch group at 700 yards. Um, that's, that's exceptional. Ready, Greg? Spotter ready. Whatever Hunting, shooting, making shots at five, six hundred yards, always been a little intimidating. Yesterday, those were the easy shots. Did, didn't even want to shoot at five hundred yards anymore. Wanted to stay out at nine hundred. But elevation is perfect. You've got, you got to be the middle one, don't you? Beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. What do we got? Bullseyes. Uh, we're stacking them. We're snowmanning them. Uh, you're done, huh? You're done, huh? Are you gonna look through that? You know, this lower. All right, Bono, get up there, man. See, we made one adjustment there. So the very bottom one, then we adjusted it. So the top three are all stacked. Uh, if, if, if we don't have any more questions, then let's wrap it for the day. And uh, we're going to go back, grab some granola bars.
grab some waters and then uh, divvy up and go look look at some animals. Which one would you shoot, Mike? I'd shoot the tan one. Never taste it. Why? The black one can't even eat it. Better looking. Hitting the ground. It's better looking. It was the second day of our class, and we, we changed things up just a little bit today. You can see uh, yesterday we were shooting off the benches, teaching some guys some good techniques off the bench, and then today we're going to implement some of those same techniques in field shooting conditions, um, like, a, like a solid front rest and a rear support, um, kind of implement some of the same techniques that we learn on the bench in, in the field shooting positions. We're going to shoot prone, uh, sitting, and then we've got some setups to shoot standing. Now, uh, we've also today changed it. You know, yesterday we had some set ranges on some targets. Today we've put out some, some of our little flip over targets at some different ranges. And we've also put a target out there at about 1400 so we can use that range finder and maximize the capability that it has. It's a little breezier today, so it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge, especially going from the benches to the field shooting and then a little bit more wind. It's going to actually be a pretty challenging day for these guys. We've got about an 8 to 10 mile an hour crosswind. Um, but it's going to be fun. It's nice weather. It's sunny. It should be a good time. So hopefully those guys will get out here. Aaron's back uh, messing around. You know, he gets pretty windy. Who knows when they'll show up. But uh, we've got all the hard work done. We're ready for them. So as soon as they get out here, we'll lay them down and we'll, we'll get shooting. So we're not pouring it up because the wind is further out. Took too much. It just hit to the right of the target. Four minutes. Four minutes. Bullseye. In the way. Nice shot. <laughs> nice shoot. Wow. Well, is you know, there's there's nothing more comfortable feeling than having you know be sitting at a bench. Um, in my experience, um, I, I, I have shot off a stick numerous times. I do like the shooting off a stick. Prone, I have not. Um, but I'm excited about the other, the other uh, techniques. Spotter ready. Spotter ready. Okay, squeeze it easy. Squeeze that back in a little well, bit. I need to lower that. Yeah, five o'clock, half a minute. Nice. Very good. Now remember, I said I said if it tracks, we're going to be a half minute low. Because I only brought him up two clicks, so good shooting. Let's bring that up that last two clicks, and I think you're solid. You know, you're, you've got a little adjustment prone versus on the, on the bench. Well, it just takes a little more to get used to being comfortable down here. But um, we're going to make this work. 
Yeah. yeah. I feel okay? Yeah. All right. Still dialed at 500. All right. So let's go. Let's go one and a quarter minutes. All right. Okay. And we'll be ready when you're ready. All right. Okay. You're going to hold one and a quarter minute. And you're at three o'clock, about half to a quarter of a minute. You're good on elevation. You're still right? Yeah. I, I broke it left. Okay. Too much. Elevation first. Okay. Now it's real important with these. It, it's no different than our sticks. Everything needs to be square. So it's got. So you're perfect on that. If you had them canted, it would want to roll your barrel up or your barrel forward. Okay. This is doable here. All right, 500. Okay. We did it literally at the uh, five o'clock position at the very bottom of the oil. So you still low. Just a minute, one minute. One just right of the tree or the second one right of the tree. Sometimes you're back like that. Nice shot. I guess I'll shoot the. High to low, is it right on? Second one, the second one, huh? Right, no way. Half a minute. Huh? Just left of that little half three minute feet. off on the left. You know what? I like the bench better. <laughs> you want that in the pack? <laughs> I, need to, I need my guy to be carrying the bench. <laughs> Travis, you up for that? <laughs> it may not be quite the one you're used to. <laughs> Might cost a little bit more. <laughs> okay, well, I, we're wrapping it up here, so we're done. Thanks for coming, guys. Thank you very much. We had a good class. Everybody we shot really it. well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. picked out a couple good black bucks in this bunch. I mean, there's a herd of them, and uh, they just keep milling in and out of these trees. And we're, we're kind of on the on the wrong side. We're, uh, we've got a lot of cover between us and them, and we just can't get a clear shot. So I think we're gonna back up, go circle around. It's about a mile around. We'll get up on a hill and swear we can look down on them, see if we can't get a shot that way. Man, there's some good ones. Let's get one. Five seventy five where he's standing. Okay, he's gonna stop right by those trees. Got him? Just barely, go for it. Ready? Alright. Oh he took a nose dive. Did you see that? He went <laughs> back? Yeah. Yeah, he did. He did the stiff leg. He did the stiff leg uh, shuffle right there. He just his feet went stiff, and he just went nose over. <laughs> oh, but he could. That took two hours to kill a black buck. We do our shooting course in the morning. We spend about three hours in classroom, have a nice lunch, then we head out and shoot for about three hours. And the guys are putting some good rounds down range. We're practicing all our stuff, hitting our steel. We wrap up about 3:30, 4 o'clock and uh, go grab a granola bar, grab a water, and head out. We've got, you know, five, 6,000 acres here we can hunt, and uh, lots of different animals. One thing about Texas, man, the wind's always blowing when we come down here. It's good, it's good it's, training it's a for good, shooting. Yeah, good, good place to train for shooting in the wind. Hey, let's go wrap it up. Let's right, check let's that go. guy out while we still got some filming light.
I love dark, the, uh, dark. the color on them. A decent fight mess around. <laughs> so what, uh, where's the shot? Let's turn it over and check it out. Right there. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, right there, bro. Look at that. High shoulder shot. Perfect. <laughs> Well, what livers. else do you expect? <laughs> that feels really good after this long week to be vindicated on one of these black buck finally. We've chased them hard. It was a lot of fun at shooting school to have the opportunity to hunt, chase animals, or just to go out and look at them. We've got some pretty cool safari options and some antelope hunts coming up later. This whole shooting school training uh, and then go hunt and practice the skills that you learn is a very intriguing combination. And when you can make a shot at 600 yards with a win like this, you know you've put in your time and you've paid your dues. Way to go, bud. Thanks, man. Sweet. You gonna skin it for me? No, but I'm gonna get some pictures. Cool. Uh, I, oh, that, right there, right? Hunting apparel for long range pursuit provided by Sitka and Kinetrek Boots of Montana. License applications made through Cabela's Tags. Brought to you by Gunworks, G7 Optics, Night Force, Hornady, and Caldwell Shooting Supplies. <laughs>